Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to go ahead and sit down and do a little vlog moment. I did some filming during Easter and I meant to post it long before now, but I just, I haven't had the presence of mind to do so. And I thought today's the day I'm gonna sit down, put on a little makeup, hang out and show you guys the little videos that I took on Easter. It was, it was a fun day and I just wanted to share it with you guys. So if that sounds cool, stick around because I'm about to get into it. But before I do, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, come hang out on my channel. It'd be really great to have you here. And with that being said, let's get into today's video. So Easter, I hope you guys had a good holiday, whether you celebrate or not. I hope you guys are just doing well in general because life is insane. The world is just crazy and using this today from Rare Beauty, just living life like, you know, we, most of us are. I haven't had the opportunity to film. Today's the day, I was like, I just want to, I want to sit down and do the thing and visit with you guys. I don't really have a big plan for what I'm doing here other than just trying to look a little less, I don't know. <laughs> ghastly, frightening, horrifying, you know, I want to look pretty today. I want to switch it up and do the pretty thing. Easter has come and gone and, you know, we, we did the thing. I don't know if you guys celebrate. Some people don't, but we do. And I decided I was going to start my day just filming and being cute. And the first thing I did when I got up, I looked at my pillow and it, it was so weird without even trying. There was like the shape of a freaking bunny on there. I have so much dust in this room. I have dust. I don't know. I was like, oh man, I, what a cool thing to start on Easter. It looks like a bunny. So I posted it on TikTok and just thinking, you know, it was, it was just cute. Something to just post. Cause you see all kinds of random stuff on that freaking app. And I just figured who's going to care. It's just that it really does. If you look at it, it looks like the shape of a bunny. And I think I posted it also on Instagram. I did actually. Cause it was just such a trip to see that. And someone commented on my TikTok like, LOL, you know, like how th this isn't where you post that. You're just supposed to post it to friends and you're not supposed to share it on TikTok. This lady was just giving me a hard time. So I was like, oh, you know, I'm sorry. You know, I didn't realize like I need to say sorry for that. I can post whatever the hell I want. If I want to post a picture of my pillowcase that has a bunny shape on it, that's, you know, if you don't like it, just keep on freaking scrolling. But I was just not wanting to have any kind of conflict over something as ridiculous as a picture that said, do you see a bunny? I, it was just kind of silly. Why make a comment like that? Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, if you don't like something, you just keep scrolling. That's the beauty of the internet. You don't have to watch it if you don't like it. You just move to the next freaking video. It's, it's just that simple. But I guess she really felt like she needed to school me on proper etiquette for TikTok. And I was like, okay, I was starting the morning. Falling in the bed. Don't ask me how many times I did this. I'm not going to say how many times. It's ridiculous, but I thought it was cute. So I did it over and over again. Shut up. That happy face isn't gonna last long without coffee. Coffee! Coffee is my favorite time of day. I love coffee. Can you tell? Hardest worker in the house. Love this it. This is like my favorite part of the day. Gotta have my coffee. Ready for my workout? I have to watch my favorite podcast while I walk and get my steps in. And it's the best way to get the weight down without hurting my knees. So your girl is walking and we're stepping. And we're walking. We're stepping. We're walking. We're losing weight. Strut, strut, strut. Having fun shoot. and looking great. Yay! Me! Yay! Us! I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm just walking. Left, 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 right, left. Strut, strut, strut your stuff. Strut, strut, strut your stuff. Our neighbor had come by that day and he was showing us his wall that had fallen down. We've been getting a lot of rain here in California, much more so than we're used to. <laughs> can you stay global warming? Because I can. They're calling it an atmospheric river. That's what we've been hearing on the news. So we've had several of those rivers come through California and it's just been rain, rain, more rain than we're used to. So our neighbor up the way here, their gate kind of fell apart. Not kind of, it did. It fell apart. And they have to have the whole thing restructured and done. Plus, because we're, you know, California and we're always with the earthquakes and stuff like that, there is shifting that happens, you know? So it causes this thing that causes cracks in our pool that we have to have constantly repaired because the ground is always shifting. So his gate had fallen down and he has to have it repaired but also the thing that freaked me out was they have a electrical pole there like um i don't know if like phone line or wife or whatever the hell it is but there's a big pole in the backyard which i'm showing you guys in the video and i'm kind of freaked out because to have that thing fall down either on our house or into the pool would be really really bad and it's looking super precarious there with all of the bricks falling away and all that stuff it just doesn't look like there's going to be a whole lot holding it up for very much longer and I don't know, just seeing that was like really ominous. I'm looking at it going, okay, that could be a real freaking problem. So uh, showing you guys that in the backyard and he seemed like a nice guy. That's the first time we've ever met him. Uh, the whole thing going on over there is, is scary and I'm, I'm certain that it's not going to be inexpensive to get it fixed. I think it's going to cost a pretty penny, unfortunately, because I think Pat was talking to him about it, not fixing it himself. I think the pole thing, 
all that stuff. That's a city issue, so you'd have to call DWP to come out and handle it. It's like, it's a whole thing. The cute little stray kitty that comes to our backyard every day. She likes to hunt in that backyard area and Gilbert always goes and stares at her and meows at her and she's super cute. I've tried to feed her, but she's feral. She's not digging me and I don't want to pressure her or anything like that. And I feel like if I leave food out there, I'm going to attract every stray and raccoon and skunk and all that in the neighborhood and then it's going to become a thing. So I don't leave food out because I, I don't want to run the risk of her you know, coming around and and then not, let's say she doesn't eat it, and then all these other animals come around and I'm feeding, you know, all the creatures and, oh uh, God. So I haven't done that. I think there was one time I left food out, like I said, she didn't touch it, but there's a lot of cats running around in our neighborhood and it kind of bums me out because there's also a lot of coyotes, you know, and, and cars coming through. And I think if these cats are just like, outdoor animals people are just like no just let the cat run around outside the likelihood of them surviving is you know it, it won't last very long for them because there's so many things that can cause you know there's so many things that's why we don't let gil i wouldn't let my cat go outside i would be terrified if he got outside because it's so dangerous with everything that is you know within the neighborhood i just wouldn't want anything bad to happen to him but it seems like the people in this neighborhood don't mind and they just let their animals run around free and I don't know, that's that's not a me thing. So I don't know if she's someone else's cat or if she's just feral or what it is, I could be wrong. I know I said feral, but she could be someone's cat, someone's pet, and they just let her run around. But I don't think she is. I wanted to go ahead and add her in the vlog because she's like part of our little family in a way, even though I can't get near her and I, I don't really feed her because she doesn't eat the food. You get it. I just took a shower. Can you believe I'm it? I'm all nice and clean. I'm doing my skincare routine. I still use that wand, even though I don't think that that skincare device does anything. I don't notice any firming or lifting in my skin, but I use it every time I do my skincare. So excuse my bathroom and all that. And another thing is this freaking Olay. I just bought this lotion. I usually get the um, Palms Cocoa Butter because I really like that. It's very hydrating and it works you know, really well. And I like, I like the scent. It's not too overpowering, but it's still nice. I wanted to try this Olay skin firming one, not because I believed it was going to firm my skin. It's not firming my skin at all. I just wanted to give it a shot because it was on sale. Okay, you know, go ahead and try it and see if I like it, but I don't like the perfume smell. It's just, it's so heavily scented. I tried so hard to like it. I just cannot bring myself to like this product. And uh, I do not think I'll be repurchasing it because it just doesn't do it for me. I mean, it's a very thin kind of formula. I feel like it evaporates fairly quickly and it doesn't leave my skin feeling as moisturized or as soft as I would want it to. And yeah, it's just, it's not really doing the thing. So even though it was, you know, probably on sale for people to start, you know, trying it and liking it and maybe adding it to their regimen, it's not going to be added to mine because I'm really just not very impressed with it. I do use the Olay body washes. I have the, what is it, the shea butter one or something like that. And that's really good. but. This particular body lotion just doesn't do it for me. Let me know if you tried it. I'm curious to know your thoughts on it because for me, it's just like, I don't know. It's not doing the thing. It's just okay. And next time I'm showing you guys where I'm like, I'm doing my makeup and I, you know, my basic makeup routine. I haven't been doing like I'm doing today. I'm keeping it very simple, very like day friendly. And I got these really cute puffs off of Amazon, which I finally got around to using and how vacuum sealed those freaking things are just insane so when i cut it open and it like i thought it was going to stay flat because it was so like sucked in i'm like there's no way this is gonna it's gonna be like Oops. like a pancake for a minute but it immediately filled with air and they puffed up and they're super cute and i like them i've already used one of them so that was a purchase that i'm happy about and uh yeah i'm just showing the makeup that i'm using so i knocked over my powder i was gonna use the jaclyn hill one that day but I decided not to. I don't know why. I guess I just wanted to go with something that was just my basic kind of like whatever because we were just going out to lunch. I wasn't going to do a full glam and it's such a brightening powder. I still don't know if I love it or hate it. I can't make up my mind. So I wanted to go with the safe option. So I just used my Laura Mercier and I spilt it everywhere because I'm so incredibly talented. The next thing is a fit check back in my bathroom again, which I think really needs some good sprucing. It's not that it's dirty. I just feel like I need to do a deep clean on it. So I'm like, ugh. And I don't really like filming in my bathroom, but as far as like showing an outfit, that's the best place that I could do it. And I wanted to show you guys that I actually have succeeded in losing a little bit of weight. And one of the things I was showing in this thing when I, my little Alba deal is that it just kind of looks like a fancy bib that I'm wearing. I wanted to wear sleeves because I thought it might be cold. We're going to be sitting outside and I didn't want to 
I didn't want to freeze, so I, I wore a, a full shirt underneath it and just put the thing on top. And it came out, I think, cute. I, it's a cute outfit for, for what it was. I have been trying really hard to take a, a little bit of the weight off that I've gained since quitting smoking. So the cool thing was that I've seen some, some changes. Now, I did strict up my diet a little bit more and just went, you know, way healthier. Like, I love cheese. I love cheese. I can eat it every day. I, I was eating it every day and I think that was a part of the problem. So I really scaled back on that and I've scaled back on like a lot of the fat content that I had. You know, I don't do a lot of bread, but I do like, you know, cheese and avocado and, uh, you know, high in fat kind of foods, lots of dressing and stuff like that. And I feel like that was the, that was the main culprit. So once I kind of chilled out on that, the weights are coming off a bit more, you know, because I do, I exercise on a regular basis. I do eat fairly, I mean, mostly salads. I, I do protein salads almost every day. It's like, you know, what the hell's going on? I don't do the bread, I'm not, I'm not doing fried food, I'm not doing desserts, I'm not a big sweets kind of gal, but I think that was really the thing, is that the fat content was too high and I'm not uh, burning enough calories to have that kind of fat content. So once I lowered it, the weights started coming off a bit more. So for me, I'm happy because I haven't been feeling comfortable on my skin since I quit smoking. I'm glad the cigarettes are gone, but the weight that came with it is like, oh okay, God, it's not what I had in mind. So it's been kind of a battle for a minute now and to see it actually coming off and to see improvement, it's worth it. I cut the shirt if you can't tell. I did the thing for the 80s off the shoulder look that I just can't seem to let go in my life. And here we are. We went and had a nice lunch at our favorite Mediterranean restaurant. I was still really good on my diet. I didn't do anything ballistic and or crazy. I was very well behaved. Yay me, good job. So we're walking and I love the area in Pasadena. It's just, um, I don't know, it's such a quaint, I just like it. I like the area very much. And I love that restaurant. This restaurant has stairs. You have to like literally do a workout before you even eat your lunch. So that was kind of interesting. And we got there and got to the table, sat down, had a nice meal, spent time together and just really enjoyed the day and I freaking loved it. The food there is amazing. Look at my handsome honey. How did I get to be so lucky? That smile. What a cutie patootie he is. Shortly thereafter we had his birthday which was also so much fun. I decorated the house and had it all done up for him when he got home and he was really excited and surprised and I made chicken piccata and he really enjoyed that and it was just a nice, chill birthday. Such a good man, I'm, I'm very blessed. And then I went ahead and I did a little Target trip. I wanted to go ahead and see if we had anything cute going on there, and I'll be honest, I wanted to look at the Stanleys. Remember when we talked about that? There was a new collection that had come out for spring, and I was just curious to see what they had for their Stanley collection part two. X Target, whatever the hell, their collab that they're doing. And surprisingly, I was able to find um, several of them. They hadn't sold out. Because the one with Starbucks, I think, was just really cute. They had like a little recipe thing on the back and the whole Starbucks Target collab. People just really loved it, the hot pink color and all that jazz. Like we talked about, it's like, no, I'm not gonna camp out overnight for a freaking expensive cup that's just freaking silly. I don't understand that whole why people were so enthralled but I can see why they would like it and be more excited about it because it was you know it was cute and it was it was something that would be fun to have as a collectible because the ones that they put out for spring which it's just a pastel colored Stanley cup you know so there wasn't anything really unique about it so when I was able to find them you know still in store I wasn't surprised because it just wasn't as cool as the Starbucks thing I'm sure they'll continue to do their collabs and people will continue to purchase them, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just not something that is necessary. But I wanted to go and check it out and see what they had at Target. They had some, you know, cute little items there, and I just enjoy walking around and and seeing what they've got anyway, because I find it relaxing. I enjoy window shopping, which we've also talked about several times, because something about window shopping just gets me out of my head, and it's just fun to go and look at stuff. They also had some leftover Easter stuff, which was kind of a trip. And my being allergic to chocolate, I did not feel any kind of certain way about it, was not stressed and was not gonna purchase any of it because I'm not gonna bring that home. Because Pat is also starting to uh, focus on getting his weight down and being healthier, just like me, because we need to do that as we become old people. Because old people need to be healthy. 
So that's my PSA for the day. But 30% off clearance. Not bad if you were, you know, of the sweet tooth and you wanted peeps and chocolate and stuff like that. Uh, not bad for Target to have that 30% sale. And uh, it could load up your cart on a bunch of sugary sweets and, you know, go ahead and have a chocolate and candy moment in your life. I don't freaking know. I pass on it. I don't need that stuff. And I never liked peeps. I think that's like my least favorite Easter treat was the marsh. I know people really like them, but I never liked them. I always thought they were kind of gross. I had to get body soap for Pat and I had to re-up my body soap as well because we didn't have any, you know, he had run out of his three in one and I wanted my Olay thing. It wasn't just a window shop that day. It was also to go ahead and, hello, there's a hair on there. Great. To pick up our, our body wash stuff so I could make sure that we had what we needed in our house to stay clean and healthy and decided to swing by the bathroom because I had to, I knew I had to drive home and my bladder is the size of a shot glass. So I was like, you know what? Maybe I need to stop and use the restroom before I go ahead and head home because there was a lot of traffic that day and I didn't want to speed to get home and, and use the restroom. But once I got in there, I decided I would just go ahead and wait because the bathroom was a complete disaster. And there wasn't anyone in there. Otherwise, I, you know, I wouldn't have filmed if someone was doing their thing in there because that's not, that's very intrusive and messed up. You know what I'm saying? It was empty and it was really gross. So I decided to show you guys the horror that I had to see because I didn't want to see that alone. So you get to join me in the, the fun of seeing a disgusting bathroom. I don't know what was going on, but that day it was just a dirty ass bathroom. So I thought I'd throw that in the vlog because you know, why not? <laughs> but look, it's starting to come together, yay! I look more alive and fresh faced and all that good stuff. Yeah, those are just some things I wanted to share with you guys that I, I did the vlog moment on. And I don't know, it was just fun. It was um, it was a fun day. I, I enjoyed it. Just like we enjoyed Pat's birthday too. It was just, it was just cool. So I wanted to sit down and share with you guys. And, this is pretty much my look. I kind of want to spruce my eyebrows up a little bit because they're they're wild. I need to trim them. And uh, <laughs> yeah, fun. Let me know what you did for uh, the holiday. If you celebrated it all, I'd love to hear what your holidays were like and just how things have been, you know, how you've been doing and all that. I'd love talking to you guys in the comments. Let me know what's happening in your life. Do you have any plans for spring? Did you do the spring break thing? Uh, have you gone anywhere, done anything cool? Cause I am nosy. And as much as I like to share about my own life, I like to hear about yours. So let me know what's going on with you. Let me know what you think in the comments. I look forward to talking to you. And yeah, this is gonna do it for me today, kids. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching. As always, I really do appreciate it. And I will catch you all in the next one. Bye.